Okay, so here's a video of the booth. Armstrong is the manufacturer here. Makes a lot of RFID products, a lot of electronic products. Also does all the key operated things. Right here is a lot of uh, password locks, RFID locks. All of these are different hidden locks. Some are Bluetooth, some are fob operated. Come on this side. You'll see fingerprint. Uh, that one's electronic with the key operation. This is actually password. This one is RFID. Doesn't light up without the card. This one is a completely invisible lock. These are some drawer slides that they have. Push to open and then soft close. This is special hardware to open up this. It's also soft close. But this is the booth. We will be at the IWF show until Friday. Our SDWS-BK001A lock it's completely invisible and you will see uh, this plunger operated here five seconds later after you open it, it goes back to the closed position this one actually uses a different striker so this actually makes it the uh, BK 101 a our typical striker that comes with the lock it would look like this but you can uh, upgrade to the pusher, uh, pusher one, it's a very weak pusher. We have different hinges on here that actually push open so you can see it won't shut. It actually pushes it open. Um, so typically if I didn't have those hinges on there, this would only crack the, uh, it would crack it to like right there and that's it. But this is our uh, SDWS BK001A, one of our best selling locks. Uh, a lot for concealment applications. This is our DL102R, so this is a right-handed version. This is a three-digit combination lock. Turn it to open right there. You can see this is a cam lock on the back of it. It has a L bracket that comes with it. So that locks it. This unlocks it. It's hard to see, but there's a blue color right there. I think you can make it out. If you turn it to the yellow, that means you can change the combination. So currently it was 555. Five, five. We're going to make it 333. Three, three. So when I turn it back, that is now the new combination 333. Three, three. If you want to uh, use a key, you forget the combination, just lock it and put it so it doesn't open. Key in there, turn it opens up. Thank you. Check us out. We have this lock stocked in Lancaster, PA. We also have the left-hand version. This is right-handed because the door turns and opens to the right. That's why we call it the right-hand version. The left-hand version would be mounted over on this side, kind of like that one right there. This is our DL-002 four-digit combination lock. This is a cam lock, so you can see on the back side of it. It does have a cam on it that when you turn, it goes back and forth. It has a bracket right here that the cam would contact. So the current combination is 1004. So I'm just going to move that down one. You'll see it's locked. Let's say, forget the combination, it does come with a, a key, an override key. Do is stick that in, turn it, and it it actually turns the cam on the back of it. It doesn't actually turn the front face of it. It only turns the cam so you get into it. You can change this code to whatever you want. Um, 
and you can change it like right now. So I'm going to change it to zero, zero, zero. That will be the new code. That's how easy it is to change when it's unlocked. If you forget what the code is, if you look here, you can see, it's hard to see, but lock it. There you go. Now you can see it. You can see the red, the little red markings. That means you have the correct key code. So if I move it, you can see that red marking went away. That's the wrong key code. So if you open it up and you want to just keep the same key code, but you're not sure what it is, just get them all on red, shut it, and you can look at it, and you'll see exactly what the key code is. So it's 9000 now. I want to show you our cabinet door opener with soft close on it as well. These are our part number BK-BF. Dash 1507 and dash 1520. The only difference is the uh, 1507 is rated to 16 pounds and the 1520 is rated to 44 pounds. Um, so this is how easy it works. You push in on it, it will open up. This is the entire mechanism. It's all mechanical, no batteries. It is only meant to turn, uh, to open a door left or right. It's not meant to lift it up or down it's not meant to have pressure on it so that weight is specifically how much does the door weigh also you have to have free floating hinges there could be no springs in here at all it has to just be completely free swinging some people call them free floating free swinging but it has to have those type of hinges so to shut it you just get it to a certain point and it will pull itself in closed these are used a lot in kitchen applications or other uh, cabinet applications, different places that people like. Uh, they work very smooth. And are pretty awesome. Anyway, check us out. LockConnection.net. And we do stock these in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Thank you.